Hi everyone. So today we are going to learn to represent single step equations in algebra using the Mathagon Polypad. So first thing we need to do is record an equation. You're going to come down to this little panel here on the bottom and select text box. Note that you have either text or equation and I have it set to equation. You can do the same. Click anywhere on your screen and you're going to record an equation. My equation for demonstration here is going to be x plus 6 is equal to 20. So in this case, x is our unknown that we're going to solve for, plus 6 is equal to 20. Now we need to find the balance scale. So I'm going to scroll down on this panel here on the left, go to algebra, you're going to select a balance scale. There we go. All right, now that we have a balance scale, we need to put elements on the balance scale to represent the equation. So we have an unknown. Now these shapes here are our unknowns. We only need one of them. So you can choose any shape that you like. We'll use this red circle here. Okay, now we need to show plus six. That means we need to get a number tile. So you come up here to numbers. You're going to select a six, pop it on the scale. So that now is an unknown and a six on this side. And on this side of the balance scale, we will put 20. To get a 20, I need to just type in 20. And now I have a number card that exactly matches what I need. Note that our scale is not in balance. And that's because the scale doesn't know to be in balance until you tell it to be in balance. So you're going to click it and you're going to hit balance. There you go. Okay, so this is how you represent the first equation. I'm going to show you how to represent two other equations, and then I'm going to show you how to solve it. So I've already set up my next equation, and that is 2x is equal to 40. 2x means 2 times x, or 2x's is equal to 40, so two unknowns. So I have to go again down to algebra, select two unknowns this time. Because they are the same, I don't want to change my shape, so I've got two unknowns on one side and that's equal to 40 on the other. I'm going to grab myself a number tile. There we go. There's a 40. And now the scale is out of balance. I hit the scale and tell it to balance. And now I've just represented 2x is equal to 40. One more equation. x take away 6 is equal to 15. I need my unknown. Go down to algebra, select an unknown, take away six. You're going to go to the number tiles. Now I need take away six. There we go. Negative six on this side. And it is set to 15 on the other side. So let's generate a number card for 15. And the final step, of course, is that I need to tell the scale that this should be balanced. Okay, so now we are done three initial phases of our equations. At this point, you're going to download this image. So this panel here on the right of your screen is gonna allow you to do that. And now we're gonna head into step two of your activity. So we're going to solve now for the unknown. And this means that we're gonna to try to keep the scale balanced, and then isolate the unknown on one side of the scale so that we understand the value of that to be on the other side. And here's what you do. So when you solve, you've learned so far that you need to select an inverse operation to get rid of the, um, the extra numerals on this side so that you can have the unknown all by itself. So the opposite of six is minus six. Oh, no set. If that does that for you, just get rid of that extra zero. There we go. Okay. Now, whatever we do to one side of the equation, we need to make sure we do to the other side because at all times it should remain balanced. So putting the negative six on this side should allow it to come back into balance, and it does. Okay. Final step. Combine these two cards, 
We now have zero left on this side and our unknown. And if we combine these two cards, we will have our solution and we do. Okay, so the unknown is now equal to 14. And if we were to take 14 and substitute it for X, 14 plus six, we should end up with 20 and we do. On to the next equation. Now, in this case, 2x is equal to 40. The inverse operation is to divide by 2 and divide by 2 on the other side. Now, at this point in time, I actually don't know how to do that. But here's another way we can get around it. We know these two have equal value. So you can play around with cards that have equal value that should be equal to 40. So, for example, if we put tried 10 and 10, for example, on the balance scale, and we took away our unknowns. You can see the scale is not balanced. So that wasn't correct. So x is not equal to 10. Let's try another one though, shall we? Okay, so I combine them to make 20. And let's make another 20 card here. Plunk that down on the scale, and there we go, we're back in balance. So two 20s is equal to 40. That means X has to be equal to 20. So that's how you're going to solve multiplication questions. Now we scroll down a little further. X take away six is equal to 14, is equal to 15. Again, we're going to generate cards that allow us to do the inverse operation. Opposite of negative six, is six. Whatever I do to one side of the equation, I need to make sure that I do to the other because right now we're out of balance. There we go, we're back in balance again. The final solution, combine the cards. I now have zero on the one side. Combine the cards, I now have 21 on this side. So that means the unknown should be equal to 21. And if you were to substitute 21 for X, 21 take away six is 15. And there you go. So at this point, now that you've solved your equations, you're going to download this image as well. Thanks everyone and good luck.